wanna know his secret? What is up guys, Grenader here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Photoshop and the basics of Photoshop and what Photoshop is and Photoshop, Photoshop and all that cool jazz. So, hopefully, if you watched my previous video, my recent previous video, because I've been gone for like four months, um, I made a video, or I didn't make a video, my boy Louie made a video and he's basically a new character I'm introducing to the channel that will basically entertain you guys while I educate you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. You enjoy the presence of Louis and maybe he might help me make a tutorial one day. So you never know. You never know. Okay, so this video, I'm going to try to make it quick, precise, and concise. So I'm going to try to go in-depth but not too in-depth to the point it's boring. So let's start with... A bunch of stuff that we don't know how to do okay so some of us don't know how to open Photoshop and the way you hope in Photoshop is that first of all you turn on your computer second of all my boys you want to go down here to your task manager you know this this blue rectangle shit here so what you want to do is you want to find the one that says PS4 because that's short for Photoshop okay it doesn't have the a on it like Adobe here like after effects it has a P on it, but trust me, it's Adobe Photoshop. So you want to just click on that, and this thing should load up, and boom, it should be up, okay? So now, what you want to do is go to File, okay? Go to File, New, and here you go. Type in all your information, okay? All of it. So what you want to do here is basically, I don't know what you want to measure in, but you just choose what you want to choose. So let's say um, you're printing on 8 in a half inch paper so you want to go to inches put width 8.5 by 11 because that's what you print at and just do that okay but some of us want to do pixels that's fine let's do 1280 by 720 the way you find out what you want to use is by basically googling it because that's what you do so once you have this open you're going to be greeted by a bunch of weird crazy shit so like it's just like a bunch of tools everywhere, right? Like you walk into like a like a hardware shop, you see all these tools, you're like, whoa, man, what do all these tools do? Well, let me tell you right off the back, a little disclaimer. I claim to be a very good Photoshopper, but I really don't know what every single tool does. But I'm going to show you the ones that I use and the ones that I know all about. And basically, you'll be as good as I am. And I'm pretty decent in Photoshop. So first of all, let's import a picture because right now we're messing with nothingness and that is not okay. We do not want to open a new one. We want to file, place, and you want to find a picture. I saved this picture um, from my uh, vacation in the Guahamas. And as you can see, it's uh, some waterfalls, some water, some trees, some rocks. Everything is good, okay? Nice and beautiful. So. Um, what I'm going to do here is basically just show you what every single one of these tools does. And like I said, I don't know what all of these do, so I might skip over some. But if you know what it does, good for you. If you don't, then, you know, we, we both done. So first of all, this tool right here, this just basically helps you move stuff. Okay, uh, simple. Uh, this second thing basically selects stuff for you like that. You can move this thing around and uh, whatever is inside the selection, if you like duplicate or transform or something it'll let you do that uh, moving on from that we got the um, selection tool another selection tool this one only lets you do squares and circles and rectangles and stuff but if you hold and click um, you can do more stuff like this so if you don't know how to get to this menu you hold and click you scroll hold and click scroll hold and click scroll that easy okay so you want to go to the polygonal lasso tool or the lasso tool the lasso tool is basically lets you do whatever you want kind of like america and then you hold and you go down polygonal lasso tool um a little bit more in control you know more straight lines kind of like germany you know it's kind of straight and then you can do that right and you okay um you want you want to find um, here's a good example, good scenario of what you're going to find yourself in. So you don't know where the hell, the, where to end. Okay. So this will only work if you close the circle or close the shape. So how you know is when you get close and you see that little circle, it's like, yes, here, no, yes, right, right there, right there. Did I miss it? I, right there, right there. 
I don't just there you go you just click until you get it okay that that's basically how life is you click until you get it and then the magnetic lasso tool is basically just selects everything that you select like this so it'll just like stick to stuff and stuff like that so that's what that does moving on from that we got another selection tool because two isn't enough and we just it just selects everything magically like if you want to select somebody it'll just select it magically so let me show you a quick example here so I'm gonna add a new layer by clicking the new layer tools right here in the bottom right corner you click new layer new layer I'm gonna file place um, I'm gonna put a squirrel in here and the, the reason it's transparent like this and the reason there's not a white background is because this picture is a PNG which basically means that uh, it's transparent so um, let's make him look like he's swimming so let's uh, let's use the stuff I taught you which is nothing uh, right now so um, let's make him look like he's swimming so first of all if you hit control T you can move him like that so let's make him go on his back because that's his coral swim and we want to put him in the water okay and we hit enter and he's not gonna drown you because he's floating real quick uh, we want to hit the E and basically that brings up the eraser or you can do it manually and go all the way to the selection and just look for the eraser and that's the eraser and then you want to go up here you can change the size the hardness we don't want it to be super hard because we want to make this look as realistic as possible because squirrels swim like that and you can't really get up close to one of these so you probably want one that's kind of realistic so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hit okay and basically what the what that little box told you is like hey fool once you change this you can't go back so you hit okay because you know you, you raw like that I'm just gonna do that okay I'm gonna do that there you go then we're gonna duplicate the water by hitting control J and then we want to bring this layer on top of the squirrel and you won't see the squirrel anymore so now we're gonna hit E again and this, again it's gonna be like hey stupid you can't undo this so you're gonna hit OK and you're just gonna erase and you're just gonna erase until you start finding the squirrel and then you wanna just slowly just do that and there you go there you go the squirrel is on his back and he's eating a nut and he's just having fun okay so now that we have squirrels there we can uh, hit control or not really anything but this is what the picture looks like um, I kind of skipped over some tools like the, the crop tool but the crop tool like come on man like we all have iPhones and stuff like that we all know the crop and then uh, we got the uh, the uh, the chicken baster and this basically just selects the colors for you so let's say you want uh, the, the squirrel brown or the the water white or the rock brown or the the leaf green whatever you want it'll get it for you and then here we go we got the uh, the the brushes and stuff and it this basically for people that are that have acne and they want to get it rid of the acne they just click and they they do this and boom acne is gone oh, okay like that so uh, <clears throat> we want to undo that because are we, we okay here's a tip you can only undo once so as you can see it's only undoing one time and after that you, you you're fucked basically you like if you messed up you messed up it happens so moving on um, we uh, we can uh, use the brush the brush tool if you hit B it'll bring up the brush like that and um, you same thing you can fix the, the size the hardness and you can draw in here and you can draw smiley faces that people can only see if they look hard enough and you can post it on Facebook and be like like when you see it and they're gonna be like like I see the squirrel in the water and then now this is the clone the clone thing it basically clones part of the picture so if you hit alt um, you can see the the little target head and then you left click and that basically selects this area of wherever the arrowhead was and as you can see if you look at the squirrel he has leaves on him because I selected this area and now this is over here and now you can basically cover up the, the stuff you fucked up in and there you go that is how you fix stuff that you mess up in and moving on from that and we got the eraser tool you can just erase what you did and stuff like that so that way it looks better it doesn't look bad so you can erase all the mistakes you've done in your life and um, this tool is not available in real life you cannot undo mistakes you've done in real life but at least in the Photoshop world you can erase mistakes and now this is fun this is the gradient tool so if you hit the, the new layer and uh, you bring out the selection markers and the way you do that if you don't have these out already you can go to view 
and click on rulers or you can do it the easier way in the illegal way to hit control R and it brings up the rulers like that and then you just drag them out like you don't even have to click anything but here's here's the catch so as you can see what if I want to move this line you're asking yourself well self you have to hit control and it'll let you move it but once you let go it'll snap into place to like maybe the side or the middle and there you go so now that we have the gradient tool the gradient is right here um, I, since I mess around with the radio only um, it's, it's gonna be on the radio but since you're not messing with it it'll probably be on the straight one like this and it'll look like that but we don't want that we want to get on the radio unless you want to use this one but, you know it's a whatever you want to do so um, once you're in here you can change the colors and the way I have the gradient set up is that I have the and the color I want a, a lighter tone of the color I want and then I have a darker color of the tone or tone it like basically baby blue blue baby blue blue you want the lighter on the left the heavier on the right and then after that you just click in the center and you click and drag and kind of like do this like 45 angle thing and you let go and boom the way you use this is to since this picture is on top of everything else like a cake like this is the icing on the cake um, you want to hit normal and you want to hit dissolve and then you just want to start scrolling up and down with your arrow keys and just seeing what you like best and some of these are basically just overlays of the the blue and some of these look pretty good like this one looks pretty good like this one looks pretty good um, some of these look pretty dope some of these don't like that does this doesn't look dope like the squirrel looks dead but you know it's whatever this one looks like a like a toxic thing yeah Ooh, look at that I like this one just a really quick interruption I want to let you guys know that I will be uploading two to three times a week um, when I will be uploading throughout the week will be completely up to however my week ends up to be sometimes I have days where I do work on like during weekdays sometimes I don't so my uploading schedule will be sporadic but you can I can guarantee that you will have at least two videos per week three if I'm having a good week so now moving on to the smudge tool the smudge tool will basically let you smudge up the the picture again if you want to smudge up some areas of your picture maybe you have a pimple or something you want to smudge it make it look like it's part of your skin make it look natural you can do that if you hold and click you can sharpen up that place too or you can uh, smudge it up some more um, you can do that kind of stuff and like I said it, um, this if you go to a tool like this and you right click and hold you it'll take you to more options of that um, tool so you know don't feel like you're constrained to just a brush you got a pencil you got a mixer brush you got a clone you got a pattern stamp you got an eraser a black round magic era a magic eraser you got a lot of stuff boys like once you walk into the the hardware shop there's a shop inside of the shop so uh, moving on from that you got the pen tool basically another selection tool this is a little bit more precise so maybe you gotta get that right angle and if you hold control you can move these points and you can fix to your liking so you gotta hold control the entire time you're adjusting these like that or if you want to just add some more and keep in mind you have to come back to that to the place where you started so when you see that little O you know you're there and then you can right click once you completed the path using the pen tool you can create a path you can create a selection, a fill, a stroke, stuff like that. Or you can just completely just, you know, forget about it. And then you got your text tool. You can type stuff like that. Uh, you can change the colors of the text like that. But you have to select everything like that. And then you change the color. If not, it won't change. You can change the size. You can change the, the, the tone, the, the font. And you can make it into 3D if you have the extended version of Photoshop. And you can do that kind of stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe you're into that. I'm not really into that. But, you know, uh, I don't know what this is. Um, I know what this is. I don't really use it that much. But this basically lets you do shapes and stuff like that. Just in case you wanted to make it look like he was, like, on a bed or something. I don't know. You can draw around him like that with shapes and stuff. But I don't really use the shapes a lot. Um, I usually just use the polygonal lasso tool and make my own custom shapes. Because being individual is what makes you 
indiv- I don't know what rhymes with individual, but you know what I mean, man. You know what I mean. So again, um, I make my own shapes, or you can just use a rounded um, rectangle, an ellipse, a polygon, whatever you want to do. You can do it. And then this, I don't know what this hand does, and the magnifying glass, zoom in, zoom out, stuff like that. This is easy stuff. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You already know what to do. This is Grenader, signing off.